thanks uh, for Singaporeans to show up today and I am pleased with the numbers here. Alright, I'll just make it a short introduction. I'm Prabhu. I am an ordinary Singaporean holding a normal job. I am not a member of any political party, just a clarification after Yahoo News. Alright, uh, I'll now start on the CPF returns. CPF returns is only 2.5%. We find this derisory. While the GST is from 3%, it can rise to 5% and 7%. So what I'm proposing is reversal of figures. Give 7% returns annually on the CPF and reduce GST to back to 3%. And what else I'd like to rally for is the minimum sum of CPF. Why is the minimum sum year by year keep on going up? This policy has to be revoked. Once the age of 55, this is our retirement funds. Once uh, a Singaporean hit the age of 55, I want the CPF money to be like, um, for them, it's their choice whether they can uh, withdraw 100% or whatever remaining balance they want to leave it in the CPF for uh, uh, better returns. Furthermore, I'd like to touch on inflation. Inflation is already between 4 to 6% um, because it travels, so it's like between 4 to 6%. How can, how can CPF returns be a mediocre 2.5% only? This is really derisory. So, one more thing I'd like to have a play on their words. Uh, recently, PM asked Mr. Law of the Workers' Party, where is your stand? Where is your stand? So I'd like to turn the tables on the PM and the PAP and ask them, where is their stand on CPF policies? Why every year the CPF keeps on changing? They don't have a firm stand. And they still have dare to ask anyone, where is your stand? What I take a look at it is, this is pure bullying. Look at the numbers of the WP in Parliament and what the numbers of the PAP in Parliament. The numbers are like times 10. And similarly, um, you know, with this whole Roy thing, it's just bullying, you know, like high school bullying, but in a much grander scale. Now, uh, with regards to apologies, I'd like to bring up, PM apologized more than once during the Mas Salamat incident during the 2011 elections as well. So why can't he accept Roy Ngun's apology when Singaporeans has accepted his apology? Yeah. Next, I'd like to touch on the amount of $5,000. We don't have minimum wage. Many of us, including myself, earn lesser than 5000 a month. On, except for special months. La. So it's like, okay, $5,000 is derisory to the PM. How many of us earn $5,000? So this, with no minimum wage, this is an insult to anyone who earns lower than $5,000. Remember, $5,000 is derisory. Average Singaporeans are earning between $1,006 to $3,005. This is derisory, our minimum wage. And worse, our dear NS man, how much? $500, this is 10 times worse than derisory. My next rebuttal is on Singapore belongs to everyone. So does our CPF belongs to everyone as well? Anyone living and working in Singapore? So, if Singapore be really belongs to everyone, Singapore should not be known as Singapore. We should be known as International Island and we are supposed to be run by the UN. Why do we need the cabinet for? Stop talking nonsense is what I would like to tell them. And uh, the next thing I'd like to uh, hit out on is Mr. Corbyn Wan mentioned. Please don't turn elections into an auction of goodies. Um, why I'm bringing this up is this is, uh, is pretty important. In the next elections, the CPF topic will be a hot issue as well. And I'd like to preempt Mr. Kaur. This is not a goodie because this doesn't belong to the state or doesn't belong to Singapore. It belongs to the citizens. So this is not a goodie. 
in the elections. And furthermore, I'd like to touch on the 50 years of PAP rule. Everyone knows our pledge, right? And the virtues of our pledge. De democracy, justice, equality, happiness, prosperity, and progress. Do, do you, do, are you guys happy? Do you, after 50 years, do you guys feel prosperous? Very prosperity? Where is our progress? So without much to do, um, that's all I have to bring up and I hope, um, you know, this does not continue, this is not just the end, I hope this is the beginning and the next few rounds of events or activities or protests here, I hope to fill this part maxed out, about 20,000, 25,000, so it's up to each and every one of you here to inform your friends, family, colleagues and co-workers. And I hope that our CPF can be returned to us at the age of 55. Yeah. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.